G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today I want to talk to you about the Telesyn GoPro Hero 10, also works for the Hero 9, waterproof dome. Yes, so cool. Now, first of all, I did a bit of a search to try and find one of these. These retail for $49.99 at the moment on the Telesyn site, that's in US dollars, but everywhere else in the world, you can get them fairly cheap too. Now, there's a Polar Pro alternative that looks like this, that re retails for $69.99, and you don't get this handle and the trigger, which I think is essential. It's been riveted together or screwed together, and this is waterproof for down to 30 meters. The whole purpose of a dome when you go underwater is one, it keeps your camera secure and attached to you. Also, when you do what's called an in and out, 50-50 up and down shot, you have the water here and there's a line on the back. It would be handy if there was a line here too, if you wanted to do some portrait work. You can hold the camera quite easily at the water level and you can either hold it halfway and point it down, have it straight or point it up. I would recommend pointing it up if you're taking a photo of anything outside and because of the space between the camera face or the lens and the outside, you will get a water line and it's very easy for that water line now to become a feature in your photo. So it's much more difficult to line up the center there rather than the, as opposed to the center of the dome on your GoPro 10 or your GoPro 9. Now the camera fits in so all that the dome holds is the little square and all you do is just plop the camera in like this so it goes down. There's then a waterproof seal that gets locked into place like so. And then you have the handle. The handle comes with a screw at the bottom. It gets screwed into place. You make that really, really tight, but you don't tighten it up until you take the trigger mechanism and you pull this up and that operates the go and the stop of the recording. And you can function it by click, click like this. And then on this side, the only two controls you have is the power on and off. Now I would suggest if you're taking stills to put it on burst mode and use auto. Auto um, shutter or auto burst mode will not give you raw images, but it will take up to, is it 50 Incorrect. frames? A second it's insane and so if you put it on auto and then something happens and you just click down and then click off and and you're good to go whereas if it's video then you click once to turn the video on and you click once to turn it off and you have a red indicator light on the back of your GoPro that you can see here and if the red light is on it means it's working and it's taking a photo or video of what you want I would suggest uh, changing it and taking the lid off when it's all dry because you don't want to get water on the inside of the dome. That'll stuff everything up. So you can get water on your GoPro. Your GoPro is actually waterproof. If you need to change a battery or do any of that stuff, make sure it's dry. Don't get water in the camera. That is not a good outcome either. So Telesyn, epic job with this. You have killed the market. I, I looked and looked and looked for the GoPro option for this. Um, it doesn't exist please put a link in the comments below if you have found a better dome than this or you found the GoPro Hero 9 or 10 dome that can be bought. Uh, I would love to, um, to have a look at that. This was lent to me by a friend. Thank you, Dale, for lending it to me. Here's some of the work that I did with it. It was just mucking about with the kids. And um, so it does that, but it also takes great underwater shots. The shots are clear. You just wanna make sure there's no scratches on the outside of your dome. And the clarity of your underwater work will depend on the clarity of the water, not necessarily the clarity of your camera. Because the GoPro Hero 9, and a GoPro Hero 10 does an epic job. Telesyn have some amazing other uh, um, accessories for your GoPro and a whole other things that I've, I've ordered a couple. If you're looking for any sort of underwater dome, I used this in the pool this week with the kids, had a blast. If you're going out doing some snorkeling or doing any underwater work up to 30 meters, you want this. I've got mates that are like, come out in the surf and bring that. I'm like, you're crazy, I don't want to die. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that. I'll see you in the next video, bye. So, Telesyn, what just happened? My light went. Ha! <laughs> we'll push on. So, Telesyn, 